Hello guys, uh, in last lesson we reviewed our about the quadratic equations and we saw different types of the quadratic equations now well, let me show you the whole part that means original part of this what quadratic equation so well, let us solve let uh, let us learn how to solve this kind of thing this one ax squared plus bx plus c this is quadratic equation general form of this one now This is ax squared plus b, uh, as I told you, this one. Now, we will learn three methods. First one is factoring and completing square. And the last one is quadratic formula. This also we can we use, we can say, uh, discriminant, using discriminant. Discriminant. That means, okay? So, in this video, you will see uh, how to solve using these two formulas. Okay, that means factoring and completing. First of all, let us so use the factoring. How we can say how we can do this? If we can write a x squared plus one c as a product of two linear factors, then we can easily solve the equation. To solve this one, we have the steps, okay, steps, we have to follow one by one, what are they? Uh, to solve the quadratic equation by factoring, follow these steps. Write the equation in standard form, that means, standard form means, first we have to write ax squared, that means a number with square, and number with x, and then constant number, c, c square x and constant factor on the left side of the equation that means we have to factorize this side that means we have to divide into equal to equal uh, into two factors okay and we have to apply zero product proof that means one of them should be zero and we have to solve the equation obtain the roots roots means solutions roots are solutions Okay, now we have here examples. Let us solve these examples. Okay, we have three examples. Let us start with first one. A. Here we have x squared plus 3x plus 2. x squared plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. Let me show you the methods of factoring. Let us, it is written in uh, what? Standard form, you see, standard form, x squared, x, and constant. So, x squared, I can uh, multiply this one, that means divide, or how to say, write in parts, x times x. So, 2 as 2 times 1, okay? Let us make cross multiplication, cross multiplication. x times 1 will be x x times 2 will be 2x, both of them positive, you see, positive, let us add them, x, 2x plus x will be 3x, this number should be equal to mid term, you see, middle term, 3x plus 3x plus, so we can say, now we can write cross, that means oppositely, x plus 2, why, because it's positive 2, x plus 1 and equalize to 0 so you see you have factors of two uh, two factors sorry we can say this is factor and this also factor we have what factors this is the method of what factoring method so two multiplications we can say one of them should be equal to 0 to make the answer 0 so x plus 2 is equal to 0 or x plus 1 is equal to 0. So here we can say, we can take this minus 2 right side, it will x can, is equal to minus 2 or x is equal to minus 1. So x1 is equal to minus 2, x2 is equal to minus 1. This is the answer for the first one.
What about the second one? Let us see. 6x squared minus 19x minus 7 is equal to 0. Hmm. This is very interesting example. Let us see how we can do this. It is in standard form. Uh, let's say 7 times 1. 7 times 1. Let's make this one is minus. Why? Because midterm is minus. That means if you multiply with any number, the biggest one should be negative. Okay? To make this negative. So, what about this one? How we can write this 6? We can write 6 times 1. If it's 6 times uh, 7 with 42, you no, know, we cannot write this one. Uh, we can write 2x times 3x. Is that? Can we write this? 2 times 3 is 6. x times 6 will be x squared. Now, uh, let us make cross multiplication. Cross multiplication. Look. 3 times minus 7, which will be minus 21x. You see? 2 times 1, it will be 2x. As I told you, the bigger number should be negative. That's why. Why? Because middle one is negative. That's why I gave this minus to here. Minus 21x plus 2. We are adding here. From bigger one, we subtract the lowest one. It will be 19x. And we give the sign of bigger one. It was minus 19x. See here. So we can make the same thing here we can write if it is correct yes it is correct we can write uh, oppositely 2x minus 7 times 3x plus 1 is equal to 0 again these are factors why because between them a multiplication so let us 2x minus 7 is equal to 0 let's take the 7 to right side 2x will be 7 and divide by 2 both sides x equal to 7 over 2 or 3x plus 1 is equal to 0 and take this one right side 3x is equal to minus 1 divide by both sides by 3 x equal to minus 1 over 3 so x1 is equal to 7 over 2 x2 is equal to minus 1 over 3 so you have two answers you see and the last one we have this example c 2x squared uh, is equal to x plus 3 mm. look we have to write in standard form it's written here is it we write in standard that means x square x square first x is next and constant so x squared is here let us take these all number uh, elements terms to left side 2x squared let's take this x is minus x it's again will really minus 3 is equal to 0 now I can write this one 2x times x is it and we can write this one 3 times 1 but 3 this is minus I have to write minus here why because 3 middle term is negative let's try let's make cross multiplication x times minus 3 it will minus 3x 2 times 1 is 2x and then it will be minus x is it okay yes so we can say cross, cross the opposite one sorry 2x minus 3 times x plus 1 is equal to 0 from here what we can do uh, one of them should be 0 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x plus 1 is equal to 0 from here let's take 3 to right side 2x is equal to 3 divide both sides by 2 okay x equal to 3 over 2 or Let's take this x to the right side, it will minus 1. So we have answers x1 is equal to 3 over 2, and x2 is equal to minus 1. Yes. Or we can write yes. Uh, I think 
this video uh, becomes a little bit longer so uh, pause your video and try to solve this given examples and try to find these answers thank you for your attention